today I'm going to be doing a review on the Maybelline Dream Pure BB Cream. Now, I rave about this quite a lot in my videos, if you hadn't guessed already, and I thought it was about time that I did a review and demo on this, just so you can see what the product is like on its own, and what it looks like on pale skin, because I'm not the cannest of people. Um, so for any pale skin people out there, then this review may come in handy for you. Um, but other than that, I just wanted to give my great words on this product. Now, I suffer quite badly with breakouts. Um, I have blackheads and quite large pools around my nose and cheek areas. I have redness, if you probably could tell. Um, I'm oily, but not extremely oily anymore. I used to be really, really, really oily. Oil I used to be really, really oily, but now I'm sort of on a, like, a line where it's just literally just my T-zone that just gets oily, nowhere else gets oily anymore, it's just my T-zone. So I kind of wanted to try this, I have tried the the other version of this because the other one isn't made for oily skin and doesn't have salicylic acid in it, but this one does. Um, I didn't really get on too well with that, but with this one I do. Now on here it has salicylic acid, I can never pronounce that word, it annoys me. Um, it has 2% so obviously it fights against spots while on your skin. Um, I would probably say yes it does, it does, it tries, well in my words, because obviously it's my review, um, I would say that it does fight against spots that are coming through, not the ones that are already like already on the surface of the skin, the ones that are about to come through. Like I've had a couple of spots that were sort of going to come through here, but because I use this every single day, it's kind of basically, they they haven't risen to the surface and they're not all up in my grill. Um, but other than that, I think it the salicylic acid does work, but not to get rid of the spots that are already present. Like I have a few spots here and one like all on my chin, basically around this area is where I'm having bad breakouts at the moment, so it's not really helping get rid of them. For any ones that are trying to come through, it helps get rid of them. This is quite good for pale skin. I am very, very fair. As you could tell, it's probably sometimes it is very, very slightly on the darker side, but I can get away with it, although sometimes it doesn't look like it on camera, but it is my lighting in daylight, I can get away with this. Um, it's an 8-in-1 BB cream, so basically it corrects and imperfects, it helps protect against the appearance of blemishes, it's oil free so it's non-greasy, which I agree on, um, it minimises the appearance of pores, which it does, I have quite large pores and it helps get rid of them, um, it clarifies the skin's look. It conceals redness, it hydrates and smooth, and it complements skin tone. Um, I wouldn't say that it does all of them. I would probably say that it corrects imperfections. I mean, it doesn't correct them to the point where it's like, oh my god, there's nothing there, but it does hide it well, just for a BB cream. Um, it helps protect against the appearance of blemishes. It stops them from coming through, yes, but any spots that are already present on the skin, it doesn't really do anything to it. It's oil free and non greasy, yes it is because obviously this is for oily skin so you don't want any oil in there and I do agree it doesn't feel greasy at all. Um, it minimises the appearance of pores, yes not to the extent where they're completely visible but it does minimise them so they're not as visible to the, like, to the eye. Clarifies the skin's look. I wouldn't really say that it clarifies the skin, I would say that it does make the skin look better. Um, conceals redness, yes it does, um, for me it does conceal the redness that I have here, um, but that's if I put like another layer on top of just normal, but I don't really mind my little red, not apple of the cheeks, but on my cheeks bit. Um, hydrates and smooth, I would say it is quite hydrating because, I don't know why, it, just, it doesn't make my skin feel like 
clogged up or it doesn't make it feel like it's tight and needs to breathe. It does literally feel like as I'm wearing nothing on my skin. Complement skin tone, yes, I think it does. I think it adapts quite well to your skin tone, so that's why I think it's quite good for pale skin and it is quite good as a foundation. So obviously, as you can see, I have a few red marks on my face. I am quite spotty. Um, other than that, my forehead is pretty clear, but you can basically see the parts on my face which need to be like concealed. So I put a little bit of it on the back of my hand. I don't put too much on the back of my hand. I put about that much. Um, and then I just evenly spread it out on my face and I blend it in with my hand just because I feel like you can get a better um, even coverage with it. I do put more of this on but obviously I'm just showing you what the first layer looks like and then what the second layer looks like. Okay. So that's the first layer done. As you can tell, it's gotten rid of quite a bit of any of my imperfections I had on my face, like my red cheeks, they're not so red anymore. I had a red mark that was on my nose, not there anymore. I had a bit of red there, not even there anymore. Obviously, I still have this blemish here, but probably with a bit of concealer and another layer of this, it will probably go, but other than that, that is the first layer. So I'm going to put a bit more of this on my face, but this time I'm not going to. I'm not going to just blob it on my face. I'm going to just apply it one area at a time. A second layer. Blend that down my neck a bit more. The mark that was there, it obviously still is visible, but it's not as bad as it would be with just the first layer. This side is more basically flawless in a way compared to this side with just one layer on. So basically, you could get away with it as a light coverage foundation if you wanted to. Now I'm going to apply another second layer to the other side of my face. Overall, I really do like this BB cream. I would still repurchase it over and over again. This is probably on my like fourth bottle now, probably more cream, maybe my fifth bottle. Um, I honestly do think that it's a really, really good BB cream. Um, I think it does what it says. I don't think there's any like bad faults about it. It's a BB cream, it's not a foundation. Um, although I do think that you probably could get away with it as a foundation. You can use a brush to blend it out if you want to, or you can use your fingers. So it's good for when you're on the go and need a quick fix on your face. I think it's a really great product. I think it's a good product for back to school. If you're going to school and you're not really allowed to wear makeup but you want to wear something on your face, I would highly recommend that because it's really, really good. And that is a clue of some of the videos that are coming up in the next few weeks. Um, other than that, I really do think it is a pretty darn good BB cream for a drugstore. It's cheap, it's affordable. And there is something for oily skin people to help have a BB cream which is actually going to last well on your face. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I want to start doing more um, like demo reviews where I do it in the morning and see what it looks like for a night. But obviously because this isn't a first impressions video, this is just a review and demo. I've already seen what it looks like on my skin. And I kind of know, but obviously first impression videos that's what I want to do so if you have any products that you want to try but you're not too sure whether you want to try it or not then leave it in the down bar and I will happily go out get the product and do a first impression video where I basically go throughout the whole entire day and do little updates so I can tell you what the product is like so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you on Sunday bye guys <laughs>